Pops was just about to take a big bite of his favorite pizza kind at a pizza, and he noticed something strange. His slice had exactly one piece of pepperoni, one mushroom, and one sliver of olive. Then Alex noticed something strange. The pepperoni appeared to be small again. a problem that you currently experience in your life. Sure, we may look like simple pizza ingredients, but we can offer you some very good advice. Have seen that pepper's face. He may have been a green pepper. 
pepper, but by the time I was here with him, he looked like a red pepper. Alex put the pizza back in the refrigerator so it would stay fresh. He wasn't so sure about this new piece of advice either, but maybe the talking food knew more about boys and chores. Decided to give it a shot. Oh, Alex, I see that you went on your ice cream show today. Who is your favorite super here, are you? I think maybe you like the great goofball. No way, I know. I bet your favorite superhero is the boy Wonder. Let's decorate your next shirt. Hey, Alex, Bush took out a permanent marker. He wrote the words I swim in big letters on Alex's shirt. Bush thought that it was very funny. He laughed and laughed, but now it was clear to Alex that the talking pizza slice gave terrible advice. He had gotten him in trouble twice. As soon as he got home, he opened up the refrigerator. Oh, did it work? Did you stick it to Bush? Did you show that boy who is the boss? Oh, no, that was a preposterous plan. Bush was Yes. Hold on, big guy. It sounds like you are trying to lay the blame on us. We're just humble pizza fixings like give advice. That's where our job ends. We're not responsible if you fail to follow our advice properly. Uh, all of you, I sense that you're disappointed. You aren't planning to eat us, are you? If you think our advice is bad, you should see how we taste. You've been sitting in the fridge for, for a week. I guarantee you we'll give you an indigestion. Don't worry, I won't eat you. Know, that would be a terrible waste of talking pizza. Fortunately, I've come up with a plan. I think the three of you should have your, your own television talk show. I'm sure millions of people would tune in to watch you. And since I, I'll be your agent, I'm sure I can make it more money than I'm getting for my allowance. And that's how the Pizza Power Hour came to be. The very first guest of, of the sh I mean, on the show was the movie star, Mia Fab Lucy. I'm glad you are here to talk about your new movie. It sounds like it is really good. Tell us about it. My new movie is called Spring. It's about a man and a woman who meet. They fall in love. Yeah. Hold on a moment. This sounds like one of those mushy flicks. Personally, I prefer a good action picture with fast cars and rocket ships. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm so honored that you are a guest tonight. This is fabulous, eh? Yeah. I have to say that I am one of your biggest fans. Have you ever considered doing a movie in which you star? The Pizza Power Hour became a big hit. Bernie all in my family became very famous. And as Alex accepted, he became extremely rich as their agent. However, the talking trio couldn't help themselves. During commercial breaks, they still loved to dish out bad advice to members of the studio audience. Who wants to be spoiled with rotten advice for talking pizza? People came from all around to visit the show. Even Butch came. They all hoped to hear the latest bad advice. Eat gooey chocolate cake right before going to the dentist. Leave your nut at home for the Scotty outside. Here's my favorite advice. Always talk with food in your mouth. After three seasons, people realized that it was a bad idea to get bad advice on pizza. And they moved on to the next big thing. The show, the show was canceled, and Alex vowed never to eat pizza again. All right, let's give him a round of applause. Awesome. Take a bow. Excellent work.